Due to the escalation of the war in Israel, I am moved this week to read two Psalms and then the uh, story of King Hosea. Psalm 121, I will lift my eyes to the hills. A song of ascents, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from where comes my help. My help comes from Yahweh, who made heaven and earth, Shamaim ve'oretz. Not he will allow to be moved, your foot not will slumber, he who keeps you. Behold, neither shall slumber nor sleep, and he who keeps Israel, Israel, Yahweh, your keeper, Yahweh is your shade at hand, your right hand. By day the sun not shall strike you, nor the moon by night. Yahweh shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. Yahweh shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cried to you. A song of ascents. Out of the depths I have cried to you, Yahweh. Adonai, hear my voice. Let be your ears attentive to the voice of my supplications. If iniquities you should mark, Ya Adonai, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness that you may be feared. So look at this. That's the only time this word, tiware, is used for fear. This is real fear. I wait for Yahweh, waits my soul, and in his word I do hope. My soul waits for Adonai more than those who watch for the morning, those who watch. Yes, more than for the morning, la boker. Shomrim are the guards keeping watch, keeping the charge, the gatekeepers, watchmen. Hope in Yisrael, Yahweh. For with Yahweh there is mercy and abundant with him redemption. And he shall redeem Yisrael from all his iniquities. Old eight years, an eight year old Josiah, when he became king. And thirty and one years he reigned in Jerusalem, Yerushalayim. And name was of his mother, Jedidiah, the daughter of Adiah of Boskath. And he did what was right in the sight of Yahweh and walked in all the ways of David, his father. And not he did turn aside to the right hand or the left. And it came to pass in eight and ten, the year of King Josiah, that sent the king Shaphan, the son of Aziala, the son of Meshulam, the scribe, Hasofer, to the house of Yahweh, saying, Go up to Hilkiah, the priest, high, that he may count the money which has been brought into the house of Yahweh, which have gathered the keepers, the doorkeepers from the people. And let them deliver it into the hand of those doing the work who are the overseers in the house of Yahweh. And let them give it to those who are doing the work that in the house of Yahweh to repair the damages of the house, carpenters and builders and masons 
and to buy timber and stone hewn to repair the house. However, no, there need to be accounting made with them of the money delivered into their hand because faithfully they deal. Think about that. If you deal with emuna faithfully, trust. You don't have to count the money. Imagine those days. And said Hilchaya the priest to Hai to Shafan the scribe, the book of the law, HaTorah, I have found in the house of Yahweh. Now, could that would that have been including Deuteronomy or maybe it was just Genesis through Numbers and Josiah had the book of Deuteronomy made as a summarization of the Torah. It's uh, an area for speculation. And gave Hilchaya the book to Shafan and he read it. So went Shaphan the scribe to the king, and bringing the king word, and saying, Have gathered your servants the money that was found in the house, and have delivered it into the hand of those who do the work, who oversee the house of Yahweh. And showed Shaphan the scribe the king, saying, A book has given me Hilchiah the priest, and read it. Shafan before the king. Those must have been special study sessions. And it came to pass when heard the king the words of the book of the law that he tore his clothes and commanded the king Hilchiah the priest and Achim the son of Shafan and Achbor son of Micaiah and Shaphan the scribe, and Asiah, a servant of the king, saying, Go inquire of Yahweh for me, the, for the people, for all Judah, Yehuda, concerning the words of book that has been found. This for great is the wrath of Yahweh. What is this? Hamat, wrath, fury, venom. So it's really venom of serpents and dragons. Uh, this is really Hashatan having his way. Rage. M misinterpreted as Yahweh's rage, maybe. that of is aroused against us upon that not have obeyed our fathers to the words of book this, to do according to all that is written concerning us. So went Hilchiah the priest and Achiam and Achbor and Shaphan and Asiah to Hulda the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, Shalom, son of Tikva, the son of Harhas, keeper of the wardrobe. Wardrobe, garments. So I'm wondering, are these priestly garments used in service? Well, that's probably lost by that time. Keeper of the wardrobe. And she dwelt in Yerushalayim in the second quarter. And they spoke with her. And she said to them, thus says Yahweh Elohai Yisrael, tell the man who sent you to me, thus says Yahweh, behold, I will bring calamity on place this and on its inhabitants all the words of the book which has read the king of Judah, because that they have forsaken me and burned incense to God's other, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore shall be aroused my wrath 
against place this and not shall be quenched. So it must have been really bad sins going on, similar to today. But as for the king of Yehuda, who sent you to inquire of Yahweh, in this manner you shall speak to him. Thus says Yahweh Elohai Yisrael, the words concerning which you have heard. Because was tender your heart and you humbled yourself before Yahweh when you heard what I spoke against place this and against its inhabitants, that they would become a desolation and a curse. And you tore your clothes and wept before me. And also I have heard you, says Yahweh. Therefore, surely I will gather you to your fathers and you shall be gathered to your grave in peace and not shall see your eyes all the calamity which I will bring on place this, on this place. This so they brought back to the king word. Now let's pay attention to the actions taken by Josiah because they're similar to actions required to today. And sent them the king and to gather to him all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem, Jerusalem. And went up the king to the house of Yahweh and with all the men of Yehuda and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with him and the priests and the prophets. Priests are vakohanim, the Levitical priests carrying the ark. The priests and the prophets and all the people from small and to great, and he read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant which had been found the book Sefer Habrit, the covenant. What is our covenant these days? Can our covenant be remembered and restored? It's written in our founding documents. And he read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant, which had been found in the house of Yahweh. And stood the king by a pillar and made a covenant before Yahweh to walk after Yahweh and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and all his soul to perform the words of this covenant that were written in book this and took a stand, all the people, for the covenant. So what is taking a stand? Standing by Moses, the book of Moses, judging fairly. Pillar of clouds stood the doorway of the tent. Are we pitching our tents with Yahweh? And are we standing by our tents? The book convenience stopped the sun. We're having a solar eclipse on Friday in the southwest of the United States. Standing. It's important that we stand for what is right. Do not be swayed by arguments that we hear. Stand against Hashatan. Took a stand, all the people for the covenant, the Brit, and commanded the king, Hilicha the priest, and Hai, and the priests of the second order and the keepers, the doorkeepers, to bring out of the temple of Yahweh all the articles that were made for Baal. It's 
the adversary for for Baal for Asherah. For all the host of heaven, Hashemaim, and he burned them outside Jerusalem in the fields of Kidron. Burned it at the brook. Stamped it small ground dust, basically obliterated those idols. And carried to their ashes Bethel, carried their ashes to Bethel, the house of El. And he removed the idolatrous priests whom had ordained the kings of Judah and to burn incense on the high places in the cities of Judah and in the places all around Jerusalem and those who burned incense to Baal, to the sun and to the moon and to the constellations, the zodiac. Look at this one, Mazalot. And to all the host of heaven, Shamaim. And he brought out the wooden image from the house of Yahweh outside Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, to the brook, the brook. Hidron and burned it at the brook Kidron, and ground to ashes, and threw its ashes on the graves of common the people. So in the Amplified Bible, I read that the common people are those who sacrificed on those altars, and uh, that's why the ashes were thrown on the graves of the common people. And he tore down the ritual booths of the perverted persons that were in the house of Yahweh, where the women wove their hangings for the wooden image. So, and he brought all the priests from the cities of Judah and defiled the high places where had burned incense there the priests from Geba to in Beersheba. And he broke down the high places at the gates that were at the entrance of the gate of Yashu, of Joshua, Yehoshua, the governor of the city, to that were the left of a man, gate of gate the city. Nevertheless, not did come up the priests to the high places to the altar of Yahweh in Jerusalem, for but they ate unleavened bread among their brothers. And he defiled Tophet, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Hinnom. Slope west. Remember, Alan taught us the difference between Eastern and Western mentality. that no might make pass man or his son or his daughter through the fire to Molech. Molech has captured lots of people's minds. And he removed the horses that had dedicated the kings of Judah to the sun at the entrance to the house of Yahweh by the chamber of Nathan Melech, Natan, okay. The officer who was in the court and the chariots of the sun, he burned with fire. We do not worship the sun. And the altars that were on the roof, uh, the upper chamber of Ahaz, which had made the kings of Judah 
and the altars which had made Manasseh into the courts of the house of Yahweh broke down the king and pulverized there and threw their dust into the brook Kidron. And the high places that were east of Yerushalayim, that were on the south of the Mount of Corruption, Solomon. Solomon became corrupt in his old age. King of Israel for Ashtaroth, the abomination of the Sidonians, for Chemosh, the abomination of the Moabites, for Milchom, the abomination. So how did Solomon become so corrupt in his old age? Was he possessed? The abomination of the sons Ammon defiled the king, and he broke in pieces the sacred pillars and cut down the wooden images and filled their places with the bones of men. So I read in the Amplified Bible that by filling it with bones of men, it, can, it defiles it permanently. Moreover, the altar that was at Bethel and the high place which made Jeroboam, son of Nebat, who made sin Yisrael, both altar that and the high place he broke down and burned, the high place and crushed it to powder and burned the wooden image. So wooden image, those come from trees, but they're works of men. So think about modern works of men. Are you looking at your phone? And as turned Josiah and he saw the tombs that were there on the mountain and he sent and took the bones out of the tombs and burned them on the altar and defiled it according to the word of Yahweh, which proclaimed the man of Elohim who proclaimed words these. And he said, what is gravestone this that I see? So told him the men of the city, it is the tomb of the man of Yah Elohim, Ish ha Elohim, who came from Judah and proclaimed things, these which you have done against the altar of Bethel. And he said, let alone him no one let move his bones so they let alone his bones with the bones of the prophet who came from samaria and also all the shrines of the high places that were in the cities of samaria which had made the kings of israel to provoke yahweh to anger took away josiah and he did to them according to all the deeds that he had done in Bethel. And he executed all the priests of the high places who were there on the altars and burned bones of men on them. And he returned to Yerushalayim. Now, this is restoration of the Passover. And commanded the king, all the people saying, keep the Passover to Yahweh, your Elohim, as it is written in Book of the Covenant, Sefer Habrit. As it is written in Book of the Covenant, this surely never had been held like Passover this since the days of the judges who judged Yisrael, nor in all the days of the kings of Yisrael and the kings of Judah. This surprised me since the days of the judges that so quickly people lost touch with their roots. It's like, okay, we need a king. Okay, we'll give you judges, but oh boy. Yeah, we got a, people got so engrossed in their own lives and I guess the politics of the time. But for in eight and 10, the year of King Josiah was held this Passover before Yahweh in Jerusalem. And we get a Passover back in Yerushalayim. The Passover is the model of Yeshua returning. 
Moreover, mediums and spiritists and the household gods and idols and all the abominations were seen in the land of Judah and in Jerusalem. Put away Josiah that he might perform the words of the law which were written in the book that found Hilchiah the priest in the house of Yahweh. So this phrase the household images, idols. How many household idols do we have? How much convenience do we treat as idols? Subscription services for TV, maybe? And like him, no, there was before him king who turned to Yahweh with all his heart and with all his soul and with all his might. There was no king like him. Similar to Moses, there was no prophet like Moses. According to all the law of Moshe, and after him, nor did arise any like him. Nevertheless, not did turn Yahweh from the fierceness of his wrath, great which was aroused his anger against Judah, because of all the provocations with which had provoked him, Manasseh. And said Yahweh also, Judah, I will remove from my sight as I have removed Israel and will cast off the city which I have chosen. Chosen. Baharti. This idea of chosen is a major source of the conflict in Israel that we're seeing today. It's the people who are chosen to have the extra commandments and responsibilities of the Torah. Not necessarily the land, though the land is important. And the rest of the acts of Josiah and all that he did, are not they written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah? In his days went Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, to the aid of the king of Assyria, the river Euphrates, and went King Josiah against him, and Pharaoh Necho killed him at Megiddo. Okay, so Megiddo, if you take the word for mountain, Har, and add it to Megiddo, you get Har Megiddo, which translates to Armageddon. So the death of Josiah was like the Battle of Armageddon when he confronted him and moved in a chariot his servants, the body from Megiddo, and brought him to Yerushalayim and buried him in his own tomb. And took the people of the land, Jehoaz, a son of Josiah, and anointed him and made him king in place of his father. So with humility, I do what I can with this live stream, with the talents I have, so that we may do what is needed as we face the upcoming challenges of peace, what is required to bring back peace. <clears throat> 